Hi everyone, this is Arvind from All CPL. Topic for today's session: How to create a job in SQL Server. In this session, we will learn create and schedule a job in SQL Server. Basically, in this session, we will create a SQL job to backup our database. Let's start the practical. Open SQL Server. Next, login into the SQL Server. Just log in into the SQL Server. Next step, click on SQL Server Agent. Right click on Job, New Job. New Job window is display. You can assign any name of the job. my database backup you can give any name basically in this session we uh, we will take the backup of the database backup of the database and the next important step click on new you can give any name backup just i am given the backup and select your database this is my test database i will create the script and the and script will take the backup click on okay next step schedule click on new you can give the schedule name daily backup you can give any name schedule type recurring means this task will repeat and the next is a uh, weekly daily monthly you can select anyone here i am select daily and again the next uh, daily at a specific time or you can select uh, every hour or every minute depend on your requirement for testing purpose i will select every minute click on ok and the next part is alert you can assign the any alert meanwhile just i will skip this part the next part is notification you can enable the notification by, by email or uh, as per your requirement meanwhile just i will skip this part and the target is local again you can change as per your requirement now click on ok now, uh, now our job is uh, job created successfully in this location our backup will be generated wait for a minute and uh, let's check the output yeah after one minute after one minute the, da the database backup is created uh, here uh, we assign the name at uh, the test underscore the year month hour and second this database backup is generated means every minute the database backup will be generated in this way we will create and schedule a job in SQL server if you have any query you can write in comment section